Hello everyone, we're here, and welcome to another reaction video of Transformers Yay, Prime! Yay, I'm finally what back! Lord Megatron, what are you doing here? I heard I was in this episode, so I thought I... Optimus, what are you doing in my chair? Keeping it warm for you, Megatron. Also, why are you here? You're not in this episode. Have you lost a diode, Prime? Of course I'm in this episode, I was told to come here! Uh, Megatron, you are in the episode, but you're not. What do you mean? I think I can explain. Basically, Lord Megatron, you're still in a coma. That's it! I'm done! I'm not watching this episode! Ugh. Well, I guess on with the show. Yes, right. You're one of those. Come again. Never understood why any self-respecting Decepticon would choose automobile as his vehicle mode when he could have flight. So, you don't like Transformers that turn into cars. Does that make you racist, Starscream? I, uh, uh, no. I'm pretty sure it does. No, it doesn't. I've done plenty of body work, Starscream, but I'm better at breaking them than fixing them. Oh, that reminds me. You do a dental checkup, by the way. Ah, no! Stay away from me, knockout! Oh, come on, I don't bite. But you will. <laughs> you know what that round thing is? You're smarter than you let on. But even dumber than he looks. Breakdown. Great to see the aligned continuity is keeping your war for Cybertron appearance intact, Breakdown. I'll back off, Starscream. The aligned continuity is total bogus. It is indeed an Energon Harvester. A powerful tool created by the ancients to remove raw energon from any source. Oh no, this is starting to sound like the plot of Revenge of the Fallen. Yes, indeed. Next thing you know, Megatron will get resurrected and you will die. No, I will not allow this. Sweet rims, 24 gauge. You're real heavy duty, just like my friend here. Were you flirting with Optimus Prime? Ah, uh, no, I was just admiring his rims, that's all. Yeah, sure. RC! It's Soundwave. So, why do your legs look like RCs? Are you assuming Soundwave's gender, Starscream? No, that's not what I'm saying! We can free Miko if we can just return that harvester to the museum. So the Decepticons can steal it all over again? I am so dumb! Well, at least you're admitting it, Bulkhead. Hey! Care to explain yourself? I... I have no words. Oh, alright, so, because I get brutally murdered by Autobots, that gives you the right to do it too? It's not like that at all. I... I'm so sorry. You're a big one. This could take a while. Hey, did you just fat shame me, Starscream? Uh, I don't know what's going on with me today. First I'm being accused of racism and now fat shaming? Huh, that's what you get for fat shaming me, Starscream. I guess that's fair enough. Okay, this is ridiculous. All you Autobots against one of me, and not a single one of you can hit me. Are you serious? Can't wait to finish my history report. I'm gonna write all about how the Autobots interacted with ancient civilizations. Uh, I'm not so sure that'll get you into college, Miko. When did this come out? 2011? So that means in a few years' time, Miko becomes old enough to write Transformers the last night. No! That's... that's not true! That's impossible! You know it to be true. Well, we certainly hope you've enjoyed our reaction to Transformers Prime. Be sure to like and subscribe. And roll out, as I would say. <laughs> if you want to watch more videos, be sure to click on some of these. Go ahead. Enjoy yourself. 
Megatron in a week yet? I hate you, Knockout! <laughs>